Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Teague, Raleigh, North Carolina. This is Auto Jeff Reviews. Please hit subscribe if you're new. Today I'm looking at what I think is probably the best full-size truck I've ever seen in my entire life. The 2022 GMC Sierra 1500 Denali Ultimate. And when you see how loaded up this is, how luxury, how high class, how tough it is, you may just agree this is the ultimate truck. The ultimate truck. The ultimate truck. Over the course of this video, I'll be showing you exterior and interior styling, features, technology, miles per gallon, and definitely pricing and specifications. We'll see a window sticker at the end. I'm gonna show you some really cool gadgets and gizmos and trinkets. This is an $80,000 truck. You have to tell me at the end, is it worth it? Let's take a look at the interior. A first look, if you will. This is Alpine Umber interior, full grain leather seats. Does it have a massaging seat? It does, and I'm gonna show you that. Remember, it's the ultimate Denali. You're gonna to see topographical maps all over the place of the summit of Mount Denali. Really cool Easter eggs that just show you what GMC thought about this truck, how important it is to them, and how much they wanna show you that this is the ultimate truck. Have I said ultimate truck enough? Now it's time to build a case. So let's take a look at this front end here. There's a lot to see, let me tell you what. And something that is a pop culture icon right here. One of the biggest, most fearsome villains of all time, right here. Anyway, look at the lines here. They're classic, they're flowing, but they're tough. All the way along the width of the hood. Then we've got dual projector, LED headlights, daytime running lights, and LED fog lights as well. And of course, being the ultimate truck, this is decked out in chrome. But it's not just black chrome. It's not just shiny silver chrome. No, it's Vader chrome. You don't know the power of the dark side. Vader chrome. Boy, look at that. It's just brilliant there. And it was so important to GMC, they put it right here in the logo. No red, no. Vader chrome logo. That's hot. It's scary. It's imposing. It just pulls you in, my friends. Then we've got parking sensors on the front and on the back. So much safety and convenience built into the exterior, the safety. We've got camera here, cameras all over the sides and the back. And that's gonna give you so many different angles, 14 different camera angles that you can see from inside your truck, whether you're just tooling around town or the highway in this bad boy, or if you've got a trailer. And this is cool, a couple different safety features that really help you when you're pulling or towing or hauling something because this has trailer capable blind spot monitor. It detects all the way down the side to your trailer, but it's also got Super Cruise. Super Cruise, Super Cruise, it's super freaky. Ow! Super Cruise is a feature you use on the highway. It's gotta be a recognizable highway there are, I believe, 200,000 miles that it can detect that's already been mapped out. But if you've got your radar activated cruise control and you approach a slower car here, put on your turn signal left or right and it'll say auto lane change in your information display and it looks for an open spot and it naturally, gradually, almost autonomously changes lanes for you. That is really cool. I was just amazed how well it works. And with the lane centering feature, it'll keep you centered in your lane, even going around turns. Look, Ma, no hands. Now look at this profile here. If you saw this on a dating app, would you truck swipe right or truck swipe left? Look at the use of chromes all along the window treatments, the door handles, it's everywhere. Let's walk along the profile here. The thing I noticed right here, 22 inch wheels, black and silver, Black and silver, black and silver, black and silver. Isn't that a classic wheel? It's classy, it's sporty, it's menacing, it's tough. 
Got Denali and Chrome. We probably got to talk about this. I mean, it does say ultimate 6.2 liter. What does that mean? And a topography map of Mount Denali. Very cool. We've got these meerkats, not meerkats, in Chrome. Denali. Look at that shiny edge right there. It's Chrome. I think if it's Chrome, that means we probably got to open up the door. Oh, automated running boards and you know what they look good they look fantastic actually and they allow safe entry into your vehicle we've got an oblique handle here here i wish that was panoramic roof under the hood we do have a 6.2 liter v8 engine so if you want to hear the roar of a v8 this is your man right here. And it gives you 420 horsepower, 460 pound-feet of torque. It's matched with a 10-speed automatic transmission. We've got big giant hood blanket here. The hood is not heavy at all. Very lightweight. Could add to its efficiency, its power, right? And with these hydraulic lifts, easy. But how does it do for ride comfort? Well, to me, on city streets, it's smooth, it's comfortable, it takes speed bumps and it takes potholes and divots and ruts takes them like a champ my friends it's smooth it's comfortable it's quiet how's it do on the highway it does just as well it's a really quiet vehicle it's incredibly comfortable wait until you see these seats and gas mileage this gets 15 in the city 20 on the highway 17 combined this is four-wheel drive you can only get it in four-wheel drive you can put it in auto where the vehicle does it for you you can put it in high four high low two whatever you want to do but you can do it or let the truck do it now this is where i wish i was about six foot five because i could hold my tripod a little bit higher look at this right here this is the carbon pro carbon fiber composite bed it means this is durable it's lightweight it reduces overall weight by about 60 to 100 pounds. It reduces the chance that you're gonna scratch it, chip it, nick it, have any corrosion. This is a solid, solid bed. And then what if I wanted to get in? Well, could use this multi-pro tailgate, hop right up in here. There are other ways to hop right up in here, but that's one. This is a six-way multi-pro tailgate here. We can go partially down like this and you got a little tabletop here we can also make it a bed extender if we wanted to right here now if we've got long boards two by fours maybe a kayak that needs to go diagonally in there we could do that what that can't be a sound system can it well we'll worry about that later so we can also just take it and push this lower one got the whole darn thing right there and we've got bed steps on both sides what else can we do well part two in a minute but look at the volume here this has the best in class cargo volume of any truck with a short bed it's impressive look at that oh okay now we're getting somewhere but what else can we do Oh, now we're impressed. And then we've got this kicker sound system right here. Can plug in your aux or your USB. Play some tunes, my friends. Play some tunes tailgating. What is this? It's not what you think. Oh, now, now that's something. So now if I wanna get up, just use that pull. And I am the king of the world. What else do we have in the back here? Well, again, we've got those bed steps. It's easy to get up to not scratch the paint. We've got two chrome exhaust diffusers there. We've got parking sensors. That's going to help. Integrated hitch and harness. Denali, Sierra, GMC. We've got cameras here. What is this? We've got more cameras here. I'll bet you could even see what's in the bed from the interior cabin. And we've got a power port back here too. Mm. 
Nice. Lots of tie downs, lots and lots of tie downs, different heights. There was some thought put into the engineering back here along the front. All in all, incredibly impressed. What about you all? Now, even if you're not a fan of trucks, full size trucks, it doesn't matter. Are you impressed with this one? It's blowing me away. I just can't even believe all the legroom back here. It's really good. And then they do a really good job of opening up the headspace here where backseat passengers are. Interesting, very interesting craftsmanship, we'll call it. It's got the suede microfiber right here. I just want to touch it, write my name in it. All right, but anyway, real comfortable seats, kind of thin, kind of thin, but they're comfortable. This one's a little bit more firm. It's like the three bears. This one's too hard. Not too hard, but it's firmer. This one's softer, but again, so much stretch out room. And truck owners fight for every last bit of storage space they can get. So what did GMC do? Well, they gave more storage. You can stack boxes up. You can put things in these bins. There's a lot you can do, and it really opens up the versatility of what's possible in the Ultimate. And yes, I'm going to show you that storage space. As a kid, I used to love to read Investigator books about big houses and mansions and they'd have secret passages tunnels oh i just found one does it lead to the conservatory is miss scarlet there with the candlestick no but i see a topography map mount denali again now look here we've got it's chunky it's firm it's kind of stubby but it is deep so it'll hold your cups Let's put that away. Let's just look and see if we can see Professor Plum with the knife in the kitchen. Oh, more storage room. That is very cool. Some other things I might see. Well, I might see heated seats for the back. I see USB-C, USB-A, and then we've got some chrome trim. Good use of the wood surfaces with the Alpine umber, with black and gray and chrome, blue, red. There's a lot going on here. And again, I'm a huge fan of when a vehicle breaks up the interior with lots of different textures and surfaces and colors, just makes life more interesting inside. Look at this, more Easter eggs. Yes, I think we got it. We're in a Denali. Again, Remember what I said, I wish it was a panoramic roof, but maybe engineering wise to give more room to people in the back. And look at this headroom here. Maybe that was the reason why you could not extend all the way to the back, that moon roof. I'm starting to think now, maybe I'd rather have the headroom. All right, more maps. Guess what mountain we're talking about here. Have we hit the summit yet, my friends? Look at the stitching here, the light colored stitching. We've got power folding mirrors, memory seats. Look at that beautiful craftsmanship right here with the wood. And Bose, 12 Bose speakers. My wife loves a Bose sound system and I can see why. Hey, do you want the coordinates to Mount Denali? Cause they're right here. They're right here. This is a 16 way front driver's seat with massage. I'm sorry, what Jeff? with a massage. Yeah, watch this on this 13.4 inch new multimedia screen, watch this. What are we gonna do here? Massage, we can roll, we can knead, we can wave, we can have relief. Three different settings for each type of massage that you could get. And I don't even need to be driving anywhere. This is luxury. And I hope that we can see this here. It reminds me of the movie Alien. It's moving, it's massaging, it's kneading. And for the passenger side, we'll make good use of these pockets here because we think, what would Joe Rady put in here? What could we put in here? What food and drink? But they're tall, they could fit sport bottles. I love this sill as you go into it. You know it's ultimate, even the floor mat has a level of class, the highest level you can get. What? We've got power passenger seat. 
Look at this huge console here. More topography. Everything is cohesive, is synergistic. We can open this up, and that's a good way to expose the wireless charging pad that you see. Expose the pad. Yeah, then we could, got some supplies in here, got USBs. We've also got, sorry about that. Sorry, 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 sorry. We've got a power plug as well. So it's a nice big open spot. We've got our brake controls right here. And then that shifter. It's unusual for sure, but it makes sense once you get to know it. As we look here, we can see this one here has a power sliding side window. I would prefer the vertical one that takes up the whole window, but we'll take what we can get. So let's come around here. We've got nice size glove box with more information about Denali. It's everywhere, man, everywhere. And look at this metallic trim. Again, more textures, more features, and anything to make it look truck-like, luxury, classy, all that jazz. And then they just look at the trim and the accent, the brushed metallic, really quite striking. Again, it adds to the luxurious feel inside as well. This thing is loaded feature-wise. We've got a huge 13.4 inch multimedia touchscreen. It's got your Google Assistant. It's got my Apple CarPlay on it. You can swipe, you can give it voice commands, all that jazz. And this is wireless along with Android Auto. I can find information about my vehicle, the trailer. I can hook it up. We can work our cameras. We can do that. We can do music selection. You can pull off of different sources here. That's kind of cool, right? I don't know if it slides. Yeah, there's not much more to see there. But again, look at all this we can do. Let's take a look at all of the camera angles we can see. Just start pushing buttons, really. We've got so much information. There's my house. I'm doing the interior in my driveway. So see, there's a lot of information that we can get off of this right here. I really like this. And it's crystal clear too. So if I'm backing up, where well, we've got our backup camera. And then same thing with forward. I can also use the paddle shifters if I wanna drive more involved, let's say. Or I can just go to D for drive, P for park, just like that. Again, we've got our wireless charging pad in here. A nice, we'll call it a dump bin right there. USB connectivity. I can put the tailgate down this way. I can turn off the engine, start, stop. Parking sensors, our lane centering, lane assist. All sorts of good information to get from here. But boy, I like these creature comforts right here. We've got ventilated, cooled seats. You can heat the top of your seat. It's like a massage chair, my friends. The top and the bottom, your tushy. We've got heated steering wheel. And as you can tell, it really blasts the air in here. Probably hear that. And then both passenger and driver have that feature as well. And again, we can always set up our, you can see me working my equipment here. You can roll, you can knead, you can wave, you can relief, all sorts of things that you could do back bolster, lumbar, upper shoulders. This thing is built for me, it really is. And this camera right here was designed so you can see my trash cans, but it's also designed so, look at this here. That's if somebody's head's in the way and a headrest, I said and headrest, a headrest, or we can just get a camera view and it's great in traffic, you can see things, you can be aware of what's around you. Pretty cool stuff. We've got lighting. We've got garage door opener programming, the moonroof, OnStar system. And then over here, ooh, I like to touch. It looks so nice, so fancy. Ooh, and it does have a slider. Better have a slider for the price. If you're spending this much money on a truck, it better have a slider. All right, this is the push button start. A lot of times people know it as round, maybe rectangular, but this one here, it's kind of a cool shape. Just kind of stands out like what? But anyway, it's unique, it's different. And then here we've got things like we've got our 
radar cruise control set, and then the super cruise. That's the one that'll change lanes for you if it's clear. Just put on your turn signal like that and it'll say auto lane change. I'll show that in the test drive video that I'm doing. We've got different drive modes. It's on normal right now, but I can easily go to sport mode. I can do off-road mode, all sorts of things. And right now it's on auto four wheel drive, but I can set it up for two, high four, low four. Mm, I like pushing buttons, like Yoda in Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> that kind of stuff. We got voice commands here, real simple to use. You can go through your screens that you see right here. Just so much information. Play layout. Do you want? Let's do digital. Okay, so see, there's a lot that you can do as far as the layout that you see. I mean, might as well have it comfortable for you, right? Fine, I'll do classic. And then we're moving on. That's it. Left side info, info right side info, lower gauges, units, speed warning. Head up display, what is this? A 15 inch head up display. The biggest one I've ever seen. It tells me the information I need. It also tells me, this is really cool on the road. I'll show that it's in the test drive video. The distance, the traveling distance between me and the car in front of me. It'll say, you're 1.3 seconds behind them. So I know it's not safe. You're two seconds, you're four seconds. It's really cool for safety features. And it'll tell me, the distance that I have set up for my radar cruise, do you want a wide distance, a medium distance, or a shorter distance? Just so much to talk about here. Impressive. Thank you, Denali. You know, some other things I wanna show, look, you can set up podcasts, Google News, a Wi-Fi hotspot has been set up. That's very cool. So you can do Wi-Fi hotspot, you can do OnStar, Sirius XM, so much going on. What's on climate? See, it just looks so modern, so luxury, far from basic. Oh, I just love it. I love it. Can I say I love it? I love it. I like you, Mary. I like you a lot. Settings, connections, vehicle, apps, display, sounds, users. Set up your profiles. Let's do something like vehicle. Rear seat reminder, buckle to drive. How do you want the super cruise to work? Climate and air quality, lighting, door locks. Look at all this. There's so much going on here. Let's take a look at the GMC window sticker here. We've got the GMC Sierra 1500 Denali. Titanium Rush Metallic. I love it. It looks like a combination of dark metallic gray with a little bit of black if we're in the shade or the sun's not quite out or nighttime. It is fantastic. It pops. 10-speed automatic transmission, Alpine Umber interior. Look at the price here. See that? We've got the starting price, 78.7. Add in not too much. We've just got the option and it's really the color add in destination, and that'll put us over $80,000. Let's keep going, We've got more to see. And you can stop the video if you want to. I just want you to be able to see the specs and the pricing so you know what's standard and what could be optional. I just love the multimedia system. It's so modern, so much capability. The safety features are absolutely blowing me away. And they're not just safety features. Well, we've got them, we hope you never need them. These are ones that you use all the time, every day. Safety ratings, hope you enjoyed the window sticker. Thanks for watching everybody. Let me know what you think of the ultimate Denali, the GMC Sierra 1500 Denali Ultimate. Leave a comment, say hey. What's your favorite truck? Is it a midsize truck? full-size truck? Is it a smaller truck like the Ford Maverick? Is it a large one? 
Is it Toyota Tundra? Maybe the Capstone? We can compare these two for sure. All right, thanks so much. Please hit subscribe. And then also I'm on Instagram and TikTok at Auto Jeff Reviews. See you next time. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh.